Hello YouTube and welcome to Go Girl Gaming Presents The Sims 4 Let's Play an Artist. This is part 6 in our Let's Play an Artist series where we are fully exploring the life of an artist both as a sim and as a career choice. So this is all about art. So if you're curious about either the artist sim or the artist career in The Sims 4, this is the place to be. Right now, this is a work day for our sim. Her name is Lena Colt. And so we're just going through the queue up for getting ready for the day. So she's already used the restroom, so we're just having her take a shower and then we're gonna have her eat some leftovers because it's a little late. Her work day starts at nine and it's already eight o'clock. Still has a lot left on her part three, going towards part three of the Painter Extraordinaire aspiration. But she's, as you can see, her performance is right there. She's in the green, so she should definitely get her promotion today. We just got to make sure that we get her to work in good spirits, and I have no doubt she'll get that promotion. So as you can see here, I'm taking a moment to look at what she's eating because every indication except when you mouse over it says that these are spoiled the mouse over is still saying excellent quality and she has another nine hours before spoiled but you can tell by the green toxic aroma not to mention her facial expression that uh -uh, they're spoiled so we're gonna have her throw those out and we're gonna have her get some leftovers that I know are fresh because she just made them yesterday so that's going to be another thing to look into because she only has the second level of refrigerator. I'm going to get her to third level at some point and see if the spoilage meter is more accurate when you get a more expensive refrigerator. So we're going to have her throw that out. Now that's a nice little touch. In The Sims 3, a magic black bag would have appeared and she would have thrown that plate and all into the garbage. But this is definitely a lot better, simulation-wise, and that she scraped the crappy food into the garbage can and then washed the plate. So I appreciate that. I had her replace the sink because she's not going to have time to repair it and I don't want it spouting water for the next nine hours. So now she has some good leftovers. Notice no toxic fumes coming off of them. The fruit parfait she made yesterday. And she's already going to be a little bit late because as you can see it is past 9 o'clock and she should have been out the door. So now putting on her I guess work attire and disappearing somewhere. That was her friend Andy at the door. He should have a job. I don't get that. This game is very heavy into you having a job. And yet, your friends, at least this one, doesn't have a job. And I, I don't get that. Because he shows up like, if you don't answer the door, he'll show up like five, six times a day. It annoys me. It just does. So we are manipulating what we can while she's at work, socializing with co-workers, schmoozing with the boss, all that good stuff. All while time speeds along. It's five o'clock. There we go. Promotion to watercolor dabbler. Yeah, yeah, yippee, yippee. She still has one of her paintings has the has the playful aura enabled so I'm gonna turn that off because I'm curious as to whether or not she can paint while tense and what the results would be so I'm going to have her come out of the room and take care of after work what I like to call her after work queuing so again it's basically similar to the morning have her use the restroom have her eat so that she can spend the rest of the evening painting for the most part but socializing painting 
relaxing everything except taking care of basic needs again simulation wise that makes more sense because that's what a lot of people do when they come in they take care of the basic needs they eat they go to the restroom and then get on with it so again we're gonna have her eat some leftovers these are leftovers a leftover salad she made yesterday And we're also going to have her clean out the spoiled food. And we're going to have her listen to some music while she's painting. Notice now that she's had a promotion that she can now critically assess. That is That has been added since she reached her new career path so we're going to be playing with that see what difference that makes if she gets a mood lit for it if it gets counted if maybe it ends up being something that she has to do so instead of for an aspiration instead of just viewing or admiring she has to critically assess artwork assess now this time we're actually going to invite Andy in one to make sure that he maintains our friend if you haven't been watching the series I specifically befriended him because he is a fellow art lover and therefore talking to him about art is not something that would bore him it might bore a non art lover so we can definitely do a lot of the art type chatting then I'm going to have them both come in and watch some television Again, partly to show off the multitasking, which is really neat. What I've found is that if you want them to do something while they're eating, you need to queue up what you want them to do while eating first and then queue up having them eat. If you do the reverse, it doesn't seem to work, at least not consistently. So we're going to have her go watch TV, grab her salad, as she's doing now, and then Andy will follow suit, and then they'll start chatting. So I'm going to watch some comedy channel. Normally I'll have her watch the cooking channel so that she gets the benefit of learning, of increasing a skill. But we're just going to do the comedy channel for a change of pace. Casual discussion has been started. Notice Andy's mood is neutral. Taking a quick look at what she needs to accomplish both to get the painter extraordinaire and then her job for, toward her next promotion she'll be level five and that will be canvas creator in order to do that she needs to create one excellent painting because she's already surpassed level five in painting and then as always she needs to continue creating works of art and going to work in a good mood so in order for her to advance both in her career and towards becoming a painter extraordinaire, she needs to create some excellent paintings. So I think she needs that new easel. I think that's what's going to enable her to start pumping out excellent paintings because she's like level seven, I think, in painting now. And she's been pumping out good works on the old easel the whole time. She's never put out anything other than good, good quality paintings, no matter what else. Like, she can technically create high quality classical paintings, but when you sell them, they always say good. So, I'm going to presume that it's an easel thing. So, I'm going to have her purchase the new easel. It does have a higher quality level. The old easel is quality level 4. This new easel is quality level 5. We're in build mode. And then just going to have to move some things around a little bit. So you're going to see me bumble about trying to move things around. Still have not become a whiz at moving things around. Windows 8 doesn't help with that, by the way.
So here we're just moving stuff. I'm gonna keep the easel over on this side so that I can basically see when Andy shows up. And now we are going to, she's inspired, which is the best time to paint. And that's part of her trait package. She can become inspired because of her trait package. So now we're going to have her paint and see if she produces an excellent quality painting. So for me, this is a long awaited moment. We need 10 for her aspiration, one for the next promotion. So if she doesn't produce one doing this on the new easel, I'm gonna be at a loss. This is just a recheck of the painting quality. See the new easel, this is the one she just bought, quality five. The old one is quality four. So we're gonna have her continue painting away there. Speed things up a little bit, has the music going. Andy I'm sure is occupied with the computer. And there we go. Don't feel bad about Andy. He is well entertained. All the needs are doing well. And ta-da! Excellent, Excellent quality painting. So it's the easel. <laughs> Which, by the way, you cannot acquire until you reach level four of the painting career. I personally think it should be based on your painting skill. But that's not how the developers decided to do it. They basically force you to have a job if you want to do things like this. Paint excellent paintings. So, But I would imagine if you really wanted to, you could quit. But there's another easel, so you don't want to quit. There's another easel that is available once you reach level 8 of the painting career. And it has a higher quality than this one does. So now just to make sure that it's not a fluke, and we were going to paint anyway, but to make sure that it's not a fluke, we're going to have her just keep painting on it. I believe that she's just going to be cranking out ex ex excellent quality paintings from now on. And if that indeed is the case, I'll be putting her old easel into storage. I'm not going to sell it, um, at least not now. If she gets desperate for some money, maybe I'll sell it. But for right now, I'll just put it in the storage and as you can see she's level 7 in painting she didn't have much farther to go so if the easel wouldn't have done it I would have really been at a loss so she painted that rather quickly that is a nice increase in price or valuation I should say so we're going to have her admire that because that counts towards her Painting extraordinaire aspiration. And now she, all she has to do is continue painting and go to work in a good mood and then she'll become a canvas creator. I had her sell that one to the art gallery because you get more money when you sell it to the art gallery. Close to 20%. Sometimes you'll actually get 20% more, but... It's usually, the range is between, I've noticed, between 19.4 and 20%. I haven't seen higher than that. So again, cranking out another painting. Andy thanks us for letting him come hang out. And it's getting late, and she still has to work tomorrow. So once she's finished with that painting, we're going to queue up for her to go to bed. and start fresh tomorrow. So again, we're gonna check this painting once she's done, check the quality of it. And it's a masterpiece. Friggin' awesome. That is her first, man, did you see the price on that? 
That was valued at $1,292. Her first masterpiece. That is a keeper, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Level 7 with a quality 5 easel. Masterpiece. Although I don't think that counts towards her excellent painting quota. Which is sad. <laughs> Just checking out because she is also a gourmet cook. And the gourmet cook is separate from regular cooking. So I was just checking out what options that she had available. Again, this is morning on a work day, so we're just queuing up as usual. Use porcelain throning, <laughs> eating, and then bathing. So we're actually going to have her cook this time. She does have some leftovers, but we're going to have her cook instead. Hasn't done pancakes in a while, so we're going to have her do some pancakes. Right now, I'm just checking her phone to make sure I haven't missed anything like bills. Even though I could just to see what would happen, have her lights turned off. I just, I don't want to do that. That's, no, not going to do it. Because that's, that's not what this series is about. I'm quite sure there are other simmers that are exploring all the disasters you can, all the misery you can cause your your sim. I really just want to focus on the artist, so just checking to make sure she has no bills due. And right now what I'm doing is checking to see when she was promoted, I believe it was Either this promotion or the previous promotion. I just don't remember. She's empty in the trash right now, by the way. But in a previous promotion, she gained the ability to study the human form. I'm trying to figure out how she's supposed to do that. So that's what I was checking out the computer for. The only thing I can maybe think of... She's off to work now, by the way. The only thing I can think of is maybe the next time Andy shows up or one time anyway when Andy shows up is seeing if I get a new a new conversation option of you know maybe having him which looking at him I I I don't want to paint him naked I no <laughs> no not little punch pot there no 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 so I can't find anything on the web so that's definitely something I'm going to try to see if I can discover how you are supposed to study the human form because you can't go anywhere I mean I definitely would have and see what I mean about him showing up like several times a day she's at work anyway there's nowhere to go like in the Sims 3 I would have checked some of the different buildings like you learn the painting skill in the Sims 3 by going to the school and you could take the painting class also, if you got the expansion pack Sims University, you could, I believe you could pose as a nude model. So I would have checked in one of those places, but no. Now, I don't know what happened. I didn't see anything pop up for why she's embarrassed from work. I didn't really have her do anything. I didn't have her schmooze with the boss or anything like that. So I'm not sure what that's about. But we're just going to have her get back to it. Admire some paintings so that she can increase her time towards her goal. All she has to do for her next promotion is paint. So she, she meets all the other criteria. So most of the focus is going to be on her painter extraordinaire aspiration just doing a quick check of where her skills are level two handiness level seven painting level five cooking she'll soon be level two gourmet cooking everything else that she's learned is level one andy is still a friend 
Haju is still an acquaintance and we have no idea what happened to Belinda. We're just going to assume she moved out the neighborhood. Once she's done with the whole admiring thing, we're going to have her have some dinner and we're going to do gourmet. The other thing that I'm testing while I'm at it is to see if gourmet cooking will also subtly increase regular cooking. I would think it would, but don't know that for a fact. And she is now 3 out of 10 for creating excellent paintings towards her aspiration. She'll probably reach that before she reaches the other two. Because it takes a while for her to admire a painting. It actually takes her longer to admire a painting than it does to have a phone conversation. And she just leveled up, level 2. For gourmet cooking, she can now prepare butternut ganache and chicken salta boca. We'll have to check those out. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I like to zoom in and see what, what the different meals look like. <coughs> see how good the artistry was. Now that looks like a tomato sauce to me. Now I know that's garlic noodles, but that looks more like a tomatoey sauce to me than a garlic sauce. I'm used to garlic sauces being pretty much clear, maybe uh, pale white at best, but anyway. So we're going to speed up a little bit. We're going to have her just do a couple of other exploratory things. There are a couple of for lack of a better term, dig sites on her property. So we're going to have her go dig and see what's in them. And we're going to take this call from Andy. And then we're going to continue on digging because the call only lasts a few seconds. So now I have a treasure map. So the next time I dig up something... And have that treasure map handy and I might get something special she has to use the restroom notice here even though she initially started doing that oh my goodness I have to use the bathroom legs crossed together and now she's doing it again she actually ran so that's interesting but now she's doing the potty walk and relief and while she was on the restroom, she could actually analyze this fossil that she picked up. And it turns out to be a fossilized sim hand, which increases the decor of a room by three. So just put it there on the, on the side table there, make a nice conversation piece. And then as usual, we are going to have her paint. on the new easel. So we've learned that the excellent easel, the excellent easel, that the easy breezy easel definitely makes a difference in painting quality. Just checking out all the things that are affecting her mood right now. Checking the whims real quick. We're going to get rid of the crazy scheme one dancing to stereo music and there's the paint on an easel at a museum which we're going to do during her day off which will be tomorrow Sunday is her day off but we're not going to do that in this video you'll have to stay tuned for the next let's play an artist video where we are going to be taking the easy breezy easel on the road we're going to take it to the museum to fulfill that whim we're going to take it to the park see what kind of interactions we get from it so please like Please subscribe, tell a friend, and do indeed keep watching Let's Play in Artists from The Sims 4 Go Girl Gaming. Thank you for watching.